What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sheree and I'm so glad that you guys tuned in today. Um, before we start, make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to so we can keep growing. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do this long extended braid. Like girl, it's long. It goes all the way to my calf muscles and I wanted it to be that long because I'm one, I'm extra and two, it's New Year's. I'm going to go to work tonight so I want it to be dramatic. So yeah, if you guys want to see how I got this braided look, then just keep watching today. So if you see me looking down, it's because I have a mirror right here in front of me. Um, so yeah, we're gonna start with the hair. So let's start with the materials that you're gonna need. So you're gonna need a, um, like a powder brush just to brush your hair out. You're gonna need a boar bristle brush to really like sleek, sleek your hair and smooth it. Um, I'm gonna use this Edge Style Factor Edge Booster pomade and then I have my edge control this is the style factor edge booster as well oh I forgot to say you're gonna need this got to be glue spray but girl once it's in here and you blow dry and set it it's in there so we're doing a long braided ponytail today so I'm using this um, expression hair it's the three times Rua it's the pre-stretched braiding hair it looks like this and if this is in 24 inches so I'm doing a super long braid today like it's gonna go it's gonna be to my calf muscles. So I, I usually do my ponytails low like this. So I don't know if I want it to be like this or if I want it to be like up with a braid. What do y'all think, like up with a braid or back? I feel like I never really do up, so let's go up. So you're gonna section off, I already have my section off from the previous bun I had, but you're just gonna section off a front portion of your hair that you want to be your bang. Now obviously you don't have to do a bang, you can do a middle part and just pull it all back or you don't have to do any part, you can just sleek everything back and put it up or you can do a side part, however you want it. But today I'm gonna do a front swooped bang with the braided ponytail. So I got a little hair tie. You wanna make sure like, if you have black hair, you're using a black hair tie. If you have blonde hair, you're using like a tan, like a light tan hair bow, just so it kind of matches the base. If it does like peek through, I'm just gonna brush it up into the position position of the ponytail that you want so i'm doing a high ponytail hopefully y'all can't hear this fan i'm sorry if you can it's just super hot but yeah i'm gonna take this um edge pomade and i'm just gonna put it around the base of my hair i'm just gonna take my brush and just brush everything in okay So now that everything is sleek, let me show you guys the back, how sleek it is. Hopefully it looks sleek. So if you're having a harder time getting it sleek to stay, just use some of this spray and it won't go anywhere. Um, and then blow dry it into place on like cool air. I'm not gonna blow dry it today just cause my hair is already straight and sleek. So I'm really just doing it so that it doesn't, I don't know, so it won't move. Okay. So now that we have that, um, let's go ahead and work on this suit part. So, oh, we need bobby pins. You're gonna need bobby pins for this suit. Hold on, y'all. <sighs> okay, got my bobby pins. I'm gonna start combing it and just kind of molding it to where you want. So me, you can do it like less swoop. You can do more swoop. So today, I really want like a dramatic swoop. So what I'm gonna do, is just lightly spray. Spray it. And now you're gonna wanna move quick after you spray it. So spray it, comb it through, right? So I have some flyaways here, so I'm just gonna spray those. Okay. So like I told you, I want a deep swoop today. So I'm just gonna hold it lightly. Hold on. If I can get it to do right. All right. Hold it lightly and just kinda form it to the way you want it. You wanna make sure the, the, the side lays flat too because it'll poof up and you'll see it 
when you take pictures and stuff. And just keep playing with it until you get it how you want it. Just gonna kind of tuck it behind your ear like that. Keep pushing down the part that wants to just stick up for some reason. Okay. So once you have it back here, right? Like this, you're gonna take your first bobby pin. I'm trying to turn so you guys can see. So when I lay this first bobby pin, I'm gonna put it in my hair like going backwards towards the back of my head. And I'm just gonna bobby pin it. Just like that, right? And then take it, spray this part up. Hold the base and brush it. And now I'm just gonna take one more bobby pin and secure the little left out piece to the base of my hair. Use some more spray. So see this little gap I have right there? That's not cute. So you're just gonna take your brush and kind of play with it, be gentle, but you don't want any gaps. I'm just gonna use a scarf like this and do it gently too. You don't wanna squeeze it too tight cause you'll like shift it. So now that we got that, let's work on this ponytail. You are just gonna start off with one. I'm gonna use two, maybe three, I'm not sure yet, but I'm just gonna take it off. So there's there's plenty of methods on YouTube how to do this. If your hair is shorter, you could just put it in a bun, overlay it, and then braid it down, but my hair is too big for that. So I like to, almost the same way you would do like a feed-in braid or like knotless braid, how you put the hair in, that's almost how I'm gonna do this. So I'm just gonna take this rubber band off. Okay. And so this one part, I'm gonna split it into three sections. So, this is one. Make sure they're kinda like equal sections as well. So one, two, three, right? And don't worry, we're gonna cover the base of the, um, base of the braid later. So what you wanna do, is brush out your hair and make three sections. So three normal sections as if you're about to just braid your hair, okay? So now you can just do it like this and add hair and go down, but like once you get to here, you, you kind of have to like switch your hands around and that'll be hard for some people, especially if you're, you know, this is your first time doing it. So just go ahead and pull your three sections to the side, okay? Have a loose grip, don't like braid too tight. So you're just gonna go ahead and braid your hair like one time, okay? So once you have it to where your braid and you have your pointer finger, your middle finger right beside each other like this, those, these two fingers are the ones that you're gonna grab the hair with. So I'm gonna take a section of hair like this, make sure the sides are equal at the bottom. I'm gonna put this side of the hair in the two fingers, and then this hair will go with this top section. So once you pull it over, it's gonna look like that. And then you're gonna braid that like two times just to kind of like lock it in. Make sure it's not too tight, right? So once you've done another braid, I'm gonna take another section of hair, like so. And you're just gonna put it in those two fingers and keep braiding. So I'm gonna braid it two more times and then stop. So obviously you could stop adding hair and just your braid will be like to here, but I told you guys I want my braid to be like super long. So I'm just gonna braid like two more times, stop, and add more hair. 
So like I said, you put it in these two fingers right here. So put it between the two fingers. And then this section of the hair goes in the top portion of the hair. And just keep braiding. Now, when you get when your hair is about to run out, you want to grab some of this spray and just kind of spray the braid as you're going. And make sure you spray the ends of your hair so that once you're done with the braid, your ends are sticking out because that's just not cute. And it's super frustrating. So whenever you see your hair or whenever you're about to run out of like your hair and the braid is just let your love braiding the, the artificial hair, you want to spray the ends so they don't stick out. Okay, add another piece into the two fingers and just keep braiding. Spraying. Oh. Sneak it down. Keep braiding. So you have your two fingers, you have your hair. You're gonna put the hair in between your pointer and your middle finger. And then this section of the hair goes with this piece that's right beside it. So once you let it go, you're here. And you just keep braiding. Okay. Now see how this piece right here is getting thin? So I kind of want to like stop and add more hair when it starts to get thin. So I'm just going to add a piece of hair there and here and keep braiding. I'm going to I'm going to spray that piece too. Every time you add hair, you kind of want to just spray just so everything stays sleek. What I'll do is I'll come to my door. I'll put the braid behind my door and that way I still have more room to, to braid. So I'm going to add this last piece of hair and that way I'm able to get all the way to the bottom of the braid. Okay y'all, so now that I'm pretty much at the end of the braid, you can see it's really small. So you want to braid down as low as you can. So if I try to stop the braid up here, like where it's still thick and I just let it go, it's gonna unravel. Um, and even when you try to boil it, it's still gonna unravel. So granted, if you can't braid this small, um, you can just use a rubber band and put it at the end, but I don't really like that look. So I'm just gonna braid down as small as I can. So this is how long it, it is looking. It is to my, I don't know if you can see, it's basically like to my calf muscle. So I'm about to go put some um, water on the stove. So you wanna boil some water just to seal the hair because this hair is synthetic and it kinda is made with plastic. So when you dip the ends in the hot water, it like, it just kind of meshes it all together so it doesn't so the ends don't unravel and so you won't have to use um, like a hair tie at the end so I put the water on the stove to boil and so while I'm waiting for that we're gonna I forgot to tell you guys so before you start you know sectioning your hair off to braid it and use the the pieces for your braid you want to leave out a tiny section of hair just so we can wrap it around the base so I'm gonna take off our scarf gently don't just rip it off be careful girl so you can leave it like that if that hair bow doesn't bother you i mean it doesn't necessarily bother me either but i just want to show you guys how you can um fix it if it is bothering you so you're basically going to take the hair see it's like it's in half both sections so here at the halfway mark of this side and grab it right so you're just gonna put it around like this and so first and bring it around so first I'm gonna wrap the small part around and just keep wrapping around just to kind of unlock it in and make sure you're like wrapping it around the bottom boom okay so now you're gonna take this hair and 
and you're gonna just start wrapping it around and every time you go around you want to kind of try to make sure that it's going over after the first couple of times just take that got to be sprayed on there and just keep wrapping yeah and so now you can't see the hair bow yeah y'all this is look like this this is so cute so let me give y'all 360 it is just so cute ah, it came out so good y'all i'm just so happy so now that it's all done we're gonna go in here and i'm gonna show you guys how i dip the hair in the boiling hot water all right you guys so i have my water it just stopped boiling but you want to let it cool down like just a little bit don't try to put the hair in there when it's still boiling because you'll burn yourself right so i just took it off the eye you want to get you a towel you want to have a towel because it's going to be super hot when you take it out the water so be careful so i have a super long braid so you don't want to put it all the way up to the water where like your hair ends because it's going to make your hair like curl up if you're natural so i'm basically just going to like oh and it also makes your hair like more movable it's not like see how it's kind of stiff um it'll make it just move around more so i'm pretty much just gonna like put in all of this so do the base first and then just kind of do this part you can use like a, a knife or something a fork or something to like push the hair in there take your and it doesn't take long you don't have to leave it in there long take your towel and just grab the hair squeeze it as much as you can and just rub down it all right you guys so that wraps up the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it so much um honestly ugh, paris honestly it came out so good um i've done this a couple times i've been doing this for, since college probably i would say but i've definitely learned like the technique and how to get better with it over the years so yeah make sure you guys follow my instagram i'm going to put it right up here on the screen so if you guys do this look and you know you post it in your story or something tag me so that i can see it and repost it but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe like leave a comment if you love it as much as i do and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.